there are some opinions against the free trade. But the free trade will continue. Asia is very important. It has a population something like 60% of the world population. It's a very, very important geographical region. It is also one of the economic en engines of Hull House for economic growth. As we understand, according to the recent estimate of Asian Development Bank, by 2030, the Asian region does need as many as $1.7 billion for investment in infrastructure. Once that amount of money is invested, you could imagine the great promotion to the economic growth and regional connectivity and creation of a lot of jobs. Initiatives like China's One Belt, One Road are reshaping global growth. How, in your opinion, can it boost regional economic integration? I would say this concept, or the public goods produced by China for the international community, is gaining increasing popularity of the international community. So this is very important. And secondly, the, if you look at the size of the area, it would cover 60% of the world population, as I said again, and of which 50% of the world are poorest people. This is significant. China last year managed to pull out 10 million people out of extreme poverty. If the entire region could do the same, you just imagine what contributions that will make to the eradication of extreme poverty. And the investment, again, is very important. It's not only to boost the regional connectivity, but also create a lot of jobs, and also would have great uh, help for the economic growth, the improvement of living standards. The UN has drafted 17 sustainable development goals, which should be achieved by 2030. Which, in your opinion, are the biggest barriers to inclusive development at this point in Asia? We have a combination of three standards. Economic growth, social justice, and environmental protection. If you fail in one area, that is not sustainable development. You have to change your mindset to realize the importance of this. So when we talk about sustainable development, we should keep in mind two words. One is sustainability. Whatever you're going to do, it should be in a sustainable way. Second is equality. All the economic benefits should be shared equally among the community.